This is Morning Edition from NPR News. Steve Inskeep is in Cairo in Washington, D.C. I'm Renee Montaigne. And I'm Ari Shapiro. Hundreds of people are dead or missing after an enormous tsunami hit Japan earlier today. That tsunami was generated by a massive 8.9 earthquake off Japan's coast. It ranks as one of the most powerful earthquakes in the world of the last century. People fled violently shaking buildings and poured into Tokyo's streets as the quake hit. Reporter Lucy Kraft joined us from Tokyo earlier this morning. Yeah, I was actually um, probably in one of the safest places. I was in the Diet Building talking to one of the members of Parliament, and when the building started to shake, and it just normally we're used to buildings shaking, but this just went on and on and on. And used to buildings shaking right. because earthquakes are so common in Japan. Right, right. But you could tell this was something different. Yeah, and, and, you know, things started to fly around the room. Papers were falling off desks. The awards that she had on her, her shelf were falling off onto the floor. And finally, she and I said, okay, we better get out of here. So the elevators weren't working, so we, we went out into the street like everyone else. And then when I left her and I tried to come back to my office, the uh, subways were stopped. Most of the transportation links are halted now. The highways are closed. Trains are not running. It's difficult to make phone calls. So uh, the country's just come to a screeching halt. 